Hey everyone, you're at home with Melissa and in this episode I want to show you how to make some really cheap and easy uh, window insulation and privacy screens. You're looking at it right there. That's the finished product and I'm going to take you now and show you how to do it. Okay, see what you're looking at here is kind of the newly finished product and I don't even need to show you step by step how to do it which is good because uh, sunlight's tricky when you're looking at a mirror at a window pardon so anyway what we've done is you can see that looks terrible and messy right now but it won't stay that way first what you do of course is clean your windows and window sills really really well and then you cut a piece of bubble wrap you can cut it to exactly the size of the window that you want the pane to be covered on or you can do what I do and cut it larger. And the reason I cut it larger is your next step is to line the window sill on the glass pane, right where the glass meets the window pane. Line it with caulk, and I've used a white caulk that dries clear. And as you saw in the other pictures, it looks really good once it's dry. If you use a clear caulk that you can't see from beginning to end, it's gonna look good from the very minute you do it. But anyway, I cut, you, you line with a, a, a generous, did you hear that stutter? You use a generous amount of caulk, not huge globs dripping everywhere, but a nice thick layer of caulk right where the window meets the paint, the, uh, right where the pane meets the frame. And the reason you use a really large amount is because what you're going to do is you're going to face the bubbles toward the glass. Okay, and the reason you do this is if you have the flat side of the bubble wrap away from the glass, then those bubbles between the flat part and the flat window will trap air, creating an insulating effect. This will help cut down on your energy bills. And as you can see both from this picture and from the other one I showed you, the short video clip in the other room where things have already had time to dry, you can see through it from the interior of the house to the exterior, but it does provide a modicum of privacy while allowing all the light to enter. And in fact, because it disperses the light through the bubbles, it actually makes the light seem, I think, a little bit brighter. And then this will dry clear and you won't see that. But you want to, as you're pressing the bubble wrap, not hard enough to pop the bubbles, but pressing it to the window glass, you want to make sure that you're squishing it into the caulk so that it's up in the corners and everything else along the sides where the glass meets the wood. And you want to make sure that it gets squished in between a couple of lines of bubbles that way it forms a solid seal and won't allow dust or moisture to get in there that also increases its um, its insulating effects so you just go cut your piece a little bit bigger and the reason I cut it bigger is because as you're squishing the bubble wrap into the caulk if you have a piece of bubble wrap that's exactly the same width as your window pane and you're squishing it, you're going to squish some of the caulk out around the edges and that's going to get on your fingers and it's going to cause you problems. You're going to smear it on the next pane of glass that you do. So I just like to cut the plastic much larger than the area I need, squish it into the, the uh, caulk, flattening it out so that you don't have any warping or any little waves or anything like that. And if you get it nice and flat while not popping the bubbles, you get that privacy screen, you get the insulating effect, and it looks really good once it's done. And it costs you far less than even the screening that you can buy that is either adhesive or static cling that clings to your windows and makes it look like stained glass or something to give you privacy. Those cost a lot more than a giant roll of bubble wrap. You can order a giant roll of bubble wrap for much, much cheaper than the same amount of any of those cling films. And even when you add in the cost of the caulk, you're still paying a lot less. So even those of us who are kind of financially strapped might be able to find 
uh, 30 or 40 bucks to do quite a few windows and it turns out really nice and you can see out that's because it's darker inside than it is outside so you can see outside it does distort it it makes it blurry you're not going to get a clear view but you don't with any privacy screenings so you're not going to clearly see outside well I take that back you can get uh, privacy screens that allow you to see out really well but they distort the light and you don't get the full spectrum light coming in through them and I do like that and these other methods don't give you the insulating effect so this will help save on your energy bills, it will give you the privacy you need it will allow a lot of sunlight into your house and it's really a nice effect I, I like it a lot I'm very pleased with it I just thought one day um, I was looking at privacy screens online and I thought you know that's that's expensive and then I opened a package that has some bubble wrap in and I always feel funny kinda of bad getting rid of bubble wrap but at the same time not necessarily knowing what to do with it and I don't know something clicked I'm like this would do everything I want it to do I think so I held it up against the window saw what it looked like liked the looks tried one small pane liked it and now I'm doing the whole house now be aware that you can kinda of see in through it at night because at nighttime it's dark outside light inside that means it'll obscure your view more while allowing people outside to see in more easily it still provides you a modicum of privacy but it's just like with uh, not curtains but um, oh geez the words not coming to me the anything that you put over your windows that sheer you know at nighttime people can still see in but it gives you a little bit of privacy what I'm going to do and what I suggest maybe you try as well is that in areas where say I'm changing clothing I'm going to double the layer of these I'm going to put two layers of bubble wrap and that will obscure the view even more and give me even more privacy so anyway that's how this is done and if you have any questions or if you decide that you're going to try this and you have any comments or helpful of whoa look at me shaking any helpful sorry guys um, I try to usually put my phone on some sort of stand so that you don't get this shaking but unfortunately I could not ring anything up couldn't ring anything up that would allow me to look at this so I had to go with the shaking and um, you know if you try this and you have any helpful hints that I haven't given here just let us know down in the comment section and if you like what you see check in again or subscribe to see more videos again you're at home with Melissa and that's the name of the channel and I hope you have a really great jet, a great day and I uh, just want to say thanks for, for joining us and spending this time with us. Bye-bye.